Hello photographers, or hello to my photography clients. Today I'm here to give you a quick walkthrough of how to use Pixie Set. So if you are a client of someone who uses Pixie Set for your galleries, for your photos, or if you are one of my clients and you want to learn how to use Pixie Set, this is the video for you. So let's get into it. And before we do, I am Kita of Kita Explore Photography. And here on my channel, I talk about all things photography. So if you're interested in photography, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when my videos are released. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get into this demonstration. All right, photographers or my clients, I am at my computer and I'm going to take you on a quick demonstration with a fake photo album that you will not be able to see on my page because it's hidden. But I am going to get on my computer here and share my screen with you. Okay, I am now on Pixie Set. Okay, so when you get an, a photo album sent by me, I will send you an album. It will come from pixieset.com. And usually if you're a client of mine, I will send you an email from our main mode of contact just in case this album does go to spam. Doesn't happen often, but there was one time a client's email actually blocked this album from coming through. So when you get the album, you're gonna click on view gallery. All of my albums are password protected. This one is not because it is hidden and I'm going to get rid of it after this demonstration but usually you'll have a password which will be in the email that I sent to you. So when you click view gallery, you'll put your password in here. Now, usually as you can see, these have watermarks on it. That's usually my default setting from Pixie Set. But when I do client photos, you pay for photos. I do not have watermarks on there. I just wanna let you know that. Um, so you won't be like, what the heck is this ugly watermark on here? This is for other purposes. So anyways, I just downloaded some photos of me into this album from Aruba. So when you get an album and you can come in here, you can click on photos to blow them up, to make them look bigger. You can do a slideshow. So you can just sit here and you know, lay back and watch the photos go through. And once you're done with the slideshow, you can just click pause to get out of it or to just stop the slideshow. You can also buy the photos if you want to get a print. Maybe you want to get a canvas like something up above or get it printed into a frame. You can click buy photo and it will take you to the preset options. So you can get it in a print or a large format print, um, a mounted print. And they have wall art, they have cards, all that type of stuff that you can buy for your photos in the Pixie Set album. When it comes to working with my clients, I always ask them to select favorites. If you're doing lifestyle portraits with me, ask them to select their favorite photos to have edited. And it depends on how much of a session they purchase. But I always let my clients know like, hey, you can get 15 photos edited and you can come in and favorite the photos. Now to do that, obviously I've already had this photo blown up. If I wanna favorite a photo, I will click the heart and then I will type my email address here. This will allow for me to save my favorites under my email address. So I can remove favorites, I can add favorites, I can do whatever I want to add my email address to do that. Because you may have more than one person selecting favorites, so you need to have different, a, a segregation of who's selecting favorites. So you can do it that way. You can also go back to your um, main page where it just has the thumbnails and you can also just scroll over the photo and you'll see down below that you can favorite it by clicking this heart or you can also buy it here as well and you can actually click to share this photo so you can share it by just copying the link or you can share it via social media or through email so those are wonderful ways of how you can favorite purchase share your photos and watch a slideshow and lastly if you want to download photos you can come in and download this entire album by just clicking the download in the upper right hand corner. And if you would like to download single photos, you can come here and hit the download button if it is turned on. I just turned on the single download option. If it's not turned on, you will not have this option. 
but that's how you can download photos. You can download one photo, two photos at a time, or you can just download the entire album. When you download the entire album, you do have to put in your email address again, so it can notify you when the files are ready for download. All right, photographers and clients, I hope you enjoyed that quick walkthrough of Pixie Set and how to navigate your client gallery. And it will help you have a smoother process of selecting your favorites, purchasing, or just viewing your photos or downloading your photos when myself or your photographer sends you a link to your album. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so and helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about your Pixie Set client gallery, feel free to leave your question down below and I will try to answer it to my best ability. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And if you're interested in supporting my photography business more, you can go and purchase yourself a print from kidexplorer.com or you can book a photo session with me by emailing me at info at Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.